Rivian and Tesla are betting on a future where a larger percentage of cars on the road are electric. For a while, that seemed like a plausible future. This was especially looking more likely during the pandemic when supply chain shortages riddled traditional car manufacturers and the lack of supply led consumers to look at EVs as an attractive option. However, now that traditional automakers are producing at full throttle, less than 10 out of 100 new car buyers are choosing EVs in the US. Of course, these two innovative companies are also investing and building technology that could bring higher profit margins in the future. Driverless car technology is more plausible in electric vehicles because of the increased computation required on board. Now, EVs will likely continue to gain share in the auto industry, but albeit at a much slower pace than initially expected. For investors looking to capitalize on this innovative industry, which is the better stock to buy, Tesla or Rivian? I'll answer that question here. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. To make this comparison, I'm going to look at critical financial metrics for Tesla and Rivian, including revenue growth, profit, asset growth, and valuation. Now, before we get started, let me give you a disclosure. I am short Tesla stock. I own put options for Tesla expiring in late 2026, December 2026. I wanted to let you know so that you can understand my viewpoint on this industry. Now, that being said, looking at revenue growth over the last several years, Tesla is generating 2.3% revenue growth in its latest quarter. Meanwhile, Rivian at just 3.3% growth. And you can see how the growth rate for these two companies has slowed down considerably in recent years. Remember, Tesla previously forecasted it was going to grow by 50% compounded annually. Those days are long gone. I don't expect Tesla to grow at anywhere near that rate at any time in the future. Rivian is a little more surprising because it's a much smaller company, but its growth rate is almost gone. This year, 57,000 units projected, same as last year, 57,000 units sold or uh, produced. But the difference this year is these 57,000 units are going to be sold at lower prices because Rivian has had to enter the price wars afflicting the EV industry where nearly every producer has had to slash prices just to keep level here and not lose revenue instead of actually trying to go after growth. Now, the next thing I wanted to compare these two on is operating income in a trailing 12-month period. Tesla generated $7.2 billion in trailing 12-month operating income best in class for any EV company. Meanwhile, Rivian generated a $5.88 billion loss on the bottom line in the trailing 12 months. Now, its partnership with VW, where VW is forecasted to add $5 billion in liquidity and strategic help for the company in lowering its cost of goods sold, is likely to help Rivian. Also, Rivian management reiterated its target for becoming gross profit margin positive in the fourth quarter of this year and for continued improvements beyond that. The next metric I want to look at is total assets. And some investors in the EV industry don't give this enough attention. The amount of capital that's required to build electric vehicles is absolutely massive. And that's what has me unattracted to this industry. Now look at Tesla's asset growth. Between 2019 and 2024, Tesla's total assets has increased from 30 billion to 112 billion, almost four times the total assets. Now, these are going into things like manufacturing facilities, investments in research and development to build intangible assets. Tesla does also have nearly 30 billion dollars in cash on hand. So, that's you can take that away from this asset growth because that's not assets that the company is using in business operations, although soon they will be because if they want to build a driverless car future, if they want to build a robo taxi, that's going to require significantly more investments than the company has put in. Also, if they want to grow from where they're at now with just 1.8 million units sold to more units sold annually, they're going to need to invest in more capacity. 
Right now, Tesla says they can produce uh, roughly 3 million units at maximum. That's going to need to increase if they want to build that robo-taxi future. So billions more investment required here. Rivian, meanwhile, $15 billion in total assets. Now, they did make a smart move in pausing the expansion facility at Georgia because they're not even utilizing the existing manufacturing capacity at their current plant. They have capacity for roughly 225,000 units. And like I mentioned earlier, they're only going to produce 57,000 units. So why would you add another manufacturing facility if you still got plenty of room in your existing facility and you're having a hard time making sales of what you can currently produce? Still, if Rivian wants to grow to a point where it can be profitable on the bottom line, I don't think it can achieve that with only 200,000 units. So it's going, going to need to spend billions of dollars more to add more manufacturing capacity as well to reach a scale where it can generate sufficient profitability. This industry is very asset intensive. You have to continuously invest because it's a competitive industry. And if you don't put in the billions of dollars in upgrading your facilities and adding new facilities, your competitors will, and then they will take market share. It's a cutthroat industry with very, very low profit margins. EVs specifically, Tesla's been the only one that's been able to generate profitability at this scale in this era. The next thing I wanted to consider is cash flow from operations. And again, Tesla demonstrates its superiority. 3.6 billion in cash flow from operations, uh, relatively flat from where it was a couple of years ago. Rivian also relatively flat on the negative side, 754 million burned through operations for Rivian in the latest quarter. Uh, Tesla being the only company, again, the big difference being the scale. Tesla produced 1.8 million last year, Rivian only 57,000. For a car company, you need to reach large economies and scale to be profitable, to be sustainable. These companies cannot support themselves with just 50,000 units sold or even 100,000 units sold or even 200,000 units sold. It's too expensive to operate. You need large scales to make up for the high cost of investment. And finally, I wanted to look at valuation. Tesla is trading at roughly three times the price of Rivian. Tesla is trading at a forward price to sales of 6.3, while Rivian is trading at a forward price to sales of 2.2. All that being said, and despite the fact that I am short Tesla stock, I have put options like I mentioned, if I had to pick between these two EV stocks, I would pick Tesla. Tesla would be my choice. Now, I don't like the EV industry, but if I was to choose an EV stock, Tesla would be the one to choose. So even though I'm short Tesla, if I had to pick between Tesla and Rivian, I would pick Tesla as the better EV stock to buy. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.